What up, diecast lovers? Uh, welcome back to Jim's Magnificent Miniature Motor Cars. And as I record this, we're looking at another two weeks of lockdown. So I'm immensely grateful that I was able to at least get a new acquisition just before we went into lockdown. It's a it's an exciting piece by Mini GT. Not the most recent piece. I'd like to point out uh, this has been out on the market for a few months now but you know in all the hustle and bustle of the lockdown i decided to pick something up and try quite frankly i've long been intrigued by the design of this car for reasons i will explain in this video anyway on to today's unboxing so as you can see it's a uh, mini gt nissan gtr uh, Liberty Walk modified. Okay, so let's see what we got in the package. Usual shrink wrap box. This is a slightly older design. I mean, I know that Mini GTs kind of revamped their design of late, but this is one of the slightly older designs. Still pretty striking, just the same. Okay. And here we go. Slightly harder to reach than other models here we go and there we have it the this model is called the oh dang that's hard yeah. all right this is the lb silhouette works gt nissan gt nissan 35 gt rr jps it's kind of a mouthful but let's have a look see at the car itself okay before I proceed any further I'd like to clarify that I do not endorse tobacco or tobacco related products and this video is not intended as such an endorsement I am simply curious about this car's design why because to the best of my knowledge for several years now going on what almost 20 years Tobacco advertising has been banned on race cars. Now, this is not a race car, which is probably why it somehow circumvented that ban. But I am really curious because a previous diecast car has been prohibited from bearing this very livery, this, this John Player special livery. Here it is, this uh, Lotus 72E by Kyosho. One, my one-time favorite uh, premium 164th scale die-cast manufacturer who only lost that title because, well, number one, their cars got too expensive and number two, they stopped producing new cars. These guys, back in their heyday, made this lovely Lotus but could not use the John Player Special livery because, well, tobacco ad bans. So why was Mini GT able to slap this... Uh, livery onto their car i confess i don't quite understand what's going on in fact if any of you know the story behind this i mean i'd appreciate if you could share a link in the comments below because i'd like to understand what's going on hey i'm not going to end this review with a numerical score because again i don't want to create the impression that i am uh, gushing over this car just because it has a a now banned tobacco livery yeah, I just found it a curiosity and something worth unboxing because it, well, independent of the livery, it really is a nice looking car. Maybe Liberty Work, maybe, sorry, many, maybe Mini GT will release it in a different color and I could properly score it with a clean conscience then. All right, we'll get one last scanner. And back to me. Hey. So like I said, it's, it's a curiosity, something to keep me occupied as we go into lockdown yet again. And thanks for watching this video. Okay, I got a few more lined up. I obviously won't have any new unboxings for the time being. But I'm going to keep on creating content because it's one way to keep from going insane in these lockdown times. So I hope you like what you see. And you know the drill. Please give us a like and a subscribe.